Hi folks, we're out here on this beautiful summer's day to talk about Coachman's Freelander 22XG. This is a great nimble little Class C that's going to get you in and out not only of great campgrounds but also do some urban touring as well. Of course it being a Class C it's going to have the classic cab over sleeping. You're going to have a bunk up there and actually that bunk is going to be pretty sturdy. It's going to hold up to about 300-350 pounds so it's definitely a place for an adult to sleep. Our power is going to be on a Ford F3 E350, excuse me. So she's plenty beefy. She's going to get you where you want to go. Got this beautiful white and white matched up. Our decals are continue up on the cab, so it's got a great uniform appearance. It doesn't look like it's been cobbled together. Of course, we've got massive windows here. One of the knocks on Class Cs used to be that they didn't have a lot of natural light. Not so anymore. This does open so we can get a lot of great fresh air through there. But probably one of the coolest things about Coachman's products are the fact that you get some crazy outside storage. This is a great outside compartment here, if I can get her open here. <laughs> there we go. It's plastic line, no carpeting. So super easy to clean. There's a weep hole right here. So if we put our firewood in here, for example, and we wanna clean it all out, we can easily just sort of bop this out and not have to worry about water staying in there and pooling. But probably one of the coolest things about this Freelander is going to be back here. You've got a back door. You know, um, my, my dog show people love this because it's going to be direct access to the coach. You do get, they do give you a screen door. We're going to open this up and your bed is a Murphy bed. So this entire area here becomes cargo space. If you want to keep the bed down for any reason, let's say you want to sleep a driver while you guys are trading off, you still have underneath the bed, again, for cargo space. Great place to put totes. They give you these tie-down rings as well. Of course, a steel bumper. And naturally, you're going to have a backup camera on this. There is another floor plan of this that actually flips that door to the other side. So be advised that you can get that in a little slightly different product with a little bit different arrangement. We'll talk a little bit about the differences inside. As we come over here, Coachman has given you a massive awning that's going to go from the back of the coach all the way over the door. So it's really going to expand your patio experience. Very simple, very clean on this side. You do have a 110 outlet. So we can set up a little table here. We can even do a little uh, party fridge. This is your cable output. So if you want to do a television out here, you can. And this, way cool, an LP Quick Connect. So we can connect a low pressure gas grill, for example, or even a little fire pit if we wanted to, um, right here at the back, and that's gonna draw out of your LP tank. So no need to take anything portable. Well, now we're going to step inside the 22XG. We're going to talk a little bit about changes from 21 to 22. They are minimal, but we'll get a few extra things. Come on inside. Here we are inside the Freelander 22XG behind the wheel. You can see this is a pretty comfortable cab, set up great. I've got a lot of visibility. If we look out that windshield, we don't feel like we're going down the road um, in a cave or under a big box or something. It's very easy to see. And then one of the coolest things about Coachman's Freelander is the fact that your transition from cab to coach, one of the lowest in the industry, about an inch, inch and a half. So very easy for me, I'll say, to stand up and step very easily back into the coach. There are some class C's that this is a little bit of um, an execution in gymnastics to be able to get from cab to coach. So very easily, we're just gonna, very easy to, to, to make that transition. Let's say you're in the campground now and it's bucketing down range. Very easy just to come back here and enjoy your living space. We've got a great, sort of a U-shaped dinette. What we've got right here is a little piece that will actually slide under if you want this to be out of the way. And in fact, now it's up and out of the way. Um, if we did need that little extra uh, space, it's a great way to get more people at your dinette. We could still set uh, a lawn chair here, have a game night. This also makes into a bed. So with this back out and the cushion filled in, the table legs come off, the tabletop drops down to this ledge here. 
back cushions can fill in, and now we have a bed that really will accommodate an adult. We talked a little bit outside about your cab over sleeping. You could get a couple of adults up here. Your weight limit is about 350 pounds. Certainly you could get at least a couple of kids up there. This does come with a ladder. And there's an option for a gear net here, excuse me, not a gear net, but a safety net up here so that nobody pitches out and rolls off. If we flip around just a little bit, I'd like to point out your refrigerator. That's a 10 cubic foot refrigerator with a real freezer. I'm gonna slip right around here, open this up. Room for a bag of ice, Totino's pizza rolls, <laughs> anything you want in there, plenty of room. Um, and you can access, access this going down the road. So if somebody wants a drink, sandwich, oh, let me get you back there. Plenty of room in here. And it's not an LP refrigerator, so that opens up that back capacity. Three burner cooktop, no oven. A lot of folks don't like the oven anymore. Um, this heats up their unit. We do have a nice little microwave up here. Uh, plenty big enough just to warm something up. See, we've got some great cabinetry space here. Got a little bit of a closet right there. Hang in clothes, or you could go ahead and create some shelves in there for additional storage. That's a pretty big capacity storage area. I'm gonna pop open the bathroom door. You'll see it is a regular bathroom. It's not a wet bath like you'd see in a class B van. It's amazing how they pack all of these things in so tightly. Now we're gonna take a look at that Murphy bed. We talked a little bit about it outside. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pop this up and gain all of this cargo space. We're just gonna lift her forward and she locks into place right here. And now she's ready to go. All of this cargo space. We even have a little extra drawer down here. Coachman's motto is if there is a if there's a hole, there's a void, put a door or a drawer in it. Cabinetry up here, um, LED light right here, USB chargers, 12 volt charger, 110 outlet. And this is what they call their CPAP storage. So you can actually put your CPAP machine up inside the cabinet and your hoses will come down from here. Inside is where you'll store. And then of course there's this great back door. And out we go again. Well folks, that's just a little bit about my 2022. We talked a little bit about, there are gonna be just a few changes. Now your interiors, virtually the same colors, but we get some things standard now in the, the Freelander that we didn't last year. Outside shower, black tank flush, things like that. If you have more questions about it, why not give me a call here at Mount Comfort RV? I'm Susan Dillman Stills.